What's up guys? Chicks there from Chicks Take Reviews. Coolest Tech of the Month, May 2021, episode 56. So this is your monthly dose of cool and unique tech products. We have an interesting lineup today and as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I will also leave the entire playlist in the description box. Meanwhile, if you want your product featured, just go ahead and send me an email. So without any further ado, the first cool product is the all new Amazon Echo Show 10 third generation. So check it out, people. Brand new technology. Hello. Ready for setup. This new Echo Show can actually detect your movements and the screen is designed to move with you, keeping you in the frame. So your video calls and content are always in view. So especially useful if you're in the kitchen where you're most likely to be moving around a lot. So my full review is coming very soon. I am very interested in covering this product in full detail where I will be checking out all the features, including movie streaming, which I heard works extremely well on this device. So that is the all new third generation Echo Show 10 full review coming very soon. All right, this is the Ergon Band. So I featured this product last month. So here it is again in black. So this is actually a watch band for the Apple Watch. So you wear it over your thumb and secure it in place. So you're just sliding the Apple Watch on first of all. It's fairly straightforward. Clicking that back on. And then you secure it to your wrist. And the wrist size is adjustable. So here it is in action. It feels very ergonomic. And there is an element of style here, um, which I do like very much. Now, this is not just limited to Apple Watch. You can buy the Ergon band for other smartwatches like Samsung Galaxy Watch, the Garmin Watch and amongst some others. So do check out ergonband.com. So the health sensors and everything still works great, but a very different style of watch band, but something that I do admire. So, yeah, definitely check them out, people. So next up, we have some interesting innovation. This is the Trio by Mobile Pixels. Well, it's the on-the-go dual and triple screen laptop monitor. All right, so basically you have a, so you have this uh, plastic back with a slide out screen built in. You've got these round magnets, which you may as well stick on. Peel back the stickers. So we do this together. Peel back the stickers. And attach it on. Just close your laptop, give it a little push in the corners. And that is it. That is your trio attached to your laptop. All right, just to show you this in action and with everything plugged in, normal laptop. It does um, increase the thickness of the laptop and you do have to plug it in as well for it to be recognized with your laptop. So here we go. Log in. Here's your laptop. You need a second display. You just you just slide it out. So this is the 13 inch on a magic book. You can see it fits perfect. It will give you a slide out second screen to play with. Now, if you buy two of these, you can actually set this up as a triple display on one laptop. So one trio will give you a single slide out display. So that's dual screens and two trios will give you that triple display. Now the makers are called Mobile Pixels. They also sent me the Trio Max, which is as the name suggests, it's slightly bigger and it will support laptops between 15 and 17 inches in size. So everything else exactly the same. And also you can flip that screen right around. Look at that, people. Dual display laptop. <laughs> that is cool. Look at that. That could be quite useful in meetings where you want to share a screen with someone sitting opposite you. You can do that quite easily. So Trio by Mobile Pixels. Do check them out, people. Okay, next cool product. We have a third party PlayStation 4 wireless controller. The actual controller is 
um, comfortable in the hands. You've got your touchpad there as well. Um, options, share, all the buttons are there. You've got your headphone jack at the bottom, power socket at the top. So pretty good copy of the original and I'll bring in the original just to compare. Here is the original. The thumbsticks on the DualShock 4 actually feel a little bit better. They're more rubbery, whereas the compatible one has a more plasticky feel to it. So it's not as comfortable. We are gonna switch it on. You can see the blue light flashing. I'm gonna plug it in for the very first time. Okay, controller is working. I'm gonna unplug it now and it's still working. So it is a Bluetooth controller, of course, Bluetooth wireless controller. The biggest difference is the light. You don't have the light on the back like the original. The light is on the front. So the light does the same thing, tells you what it tells you that you're connected, um, but it's not on the back. So that's interesting. Controller seems to work fine. So we're gonna try using the touchpad to type. Wow. It's like extra sensitive, but it works. So for example, let's search for WWE and we're just going to hit R2 to search. It works. Awesome. Home button, share button. Yeah, and that's the start button. That works fine as well. Let's play a game just to be sure. And that fan noise you're hearing is my PlayStation 4. It's like a chopper about to pick up. So just try and ignore that noise. We are testing out this controller, so I'm loading up a multiplayer game. Domination. Secure the objectives. Right, here we go. It's moving around fine. Let's try the buttons. Let's try the joystick. Attack buttons works fine. Okay, that works fine. Aim. Perfect. Let's try shooting. Yes. Reload. Change guns. Feels good. Sprinting. Double jump. So my experience with this controller, you have full functionality. Everything works as it should. It feels different than the official controller. It's something you have to get used to. It's still ergonomic. It's still comfortable. I like that you have more grippy handles um, compared to the original. But what you will find yourself um, getting used to is the actual thumbsticks. The precision, accuracy, everything is there. They are slightly more sensitive than the original, but also the actual rubber coating is very thin, so it just feels it just feels like plastic, whereas you've got a nice, comfortable uh, thumb grip on the original. I know you can buy these stick-on thumb grips. That will certainly make a difference. But for the price for a PlayStation 4 wireless Bluetooth controller, this is pretty good and i'd also like to point out that the battery life is good as well you can get a good solid 10 hours of gameplay and it takes around two hours to fully charge so an affordable compatible playstation 4 wireless controller definitely worth the price people so here we have the oneplus buds in gray so straightforward design rubberized texture plastic case you've got a button on the back usb-c port at the bottom and when you open them, you'll be presented with the earbuds themselves. So I never really got a chance to uh, review these. So I thought I'd pick them up for the Coolest Tech Special. Now you've got 13.6 millimeter dynamic drivers. You've got low latency for gaming. They support warp charging. So 10 minutes charge in that case will give you 10 hours of music. That is an insane charging speed for true wireless stereo earbuds. You've got triple microphones and each earbud will give you 6.5 hours of battery life. And if you combine that with the charging case, that's a total of 24 hours. So interesting design, comfortable fit, and a pretty bassy sound. And the best part is these are currently priced under 80 pounds. One plus buds, people. So in this episode, I'm actually going out my way to find interesting and innovative core products. So this one is exactly that. It's an invisible and foldable stand case for the iPad Pro made by a company called Moft. It's actually called the Moft Float. 
So this is for the iPad Pro 11 inch model, which I have right here on the side. I'm excited about this one because it's gonna be very good for my own personal use. So wait till you see what this can do. So it's a quality case. It's very durable. It feels very durable. Um, it's made from a rubberized texture on one side and the protective lip going all the way around is made from a silicone soft material. So you can remove and replace your iPad without the worry of um, scratching it. So here is my iPad Pro 11 inch 2020 model. I love this device. So my iPad is installed. I'll show you what this can do. So it says they're open. So you're just simply lifting that out like so. And that gives you a floating stand. Look at floating stand. You've got this uh, plastic part, which you have to push. Otherwise your iPad will fall backwards and that keeps the unit from falling backwards. As you can see, you've got elevation both up and down and you can tilt the screen at various different angles or you can have it straight vertical like a monitor. And when you're done with it, that's it. And away you go. So you close that lip as well. You've got a groove here for the Apple Pencil. So if you do have the Apple Pencil, drop it in place and it will stay there secure. And if you just want to stand without opening the whole thing out, you can you can just do that. That will give you a stand. And you, again, you can tilt it up and down to suit your position. Now the full size stand is good when you're about to get productive and you want something a little bit more level to your eye when working because that feels more comfortable, then you can prop it up like this. So this case is for the 11 inch 2020 model. You can also pick this up for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and also the iPad Air 2020. So there's three different sizes that you can pick up. So it's great for watching movies, playing games or even helping you get productive. So use it anywhere you like, anytime you like. And if this product is not cool enough for you, you want it to be a little bit more cooler, then you need this. Wait till you see what's in here. I am so excited to try this. We've got this suede pouch inside and you have yourself, oh, that feels good. It's the Tri Folding Keyboard by Moft. Wow, and the quality is impressive. Gun metal finish, it's made from metal and the hinges are really cool. Look at that, Tri Folding Keyboard. I've connected via Bluetooth and you can have three devices connected at the same time. Now, when you close the keyboard, it automatically powers off. When you open it, it will immediately pair to the iPad. So it will search for devices and then you can see you're paired. That's the touchpad working superb. If I open up notes, just delete what's there. All the multimedia keys and functions work great. So there's your volume, there's your brightness. You can see it's all working fine. Now type on it briefly just to show you it in action. Testing out the new Moft Tri Folding Keyboard. So you can see the keys are slightly on the smaller side, um, but you can type absolutely fine. You've got some decent travel there as well, so you can feel every click. A really nice portable keyboard. And when you're done, close it. Drop this down. Pop it into the bag. and your computer is now ready to take with you anywhere you like. What do you guys think of the Moft Float? Let me know in the comments. So if you see either of these products out of stock, you guys know exactly why. Moft Float people, Moft Float. So here we have another gift box by Mobile Fun. Let's see what's inside. Bunch of goodies. So we have phone cases for what looks like one plus nine so this is a one plus nine gift box so all cases and accessories for especially for the one plus nine smartphone it is the one plus nine look at that beautiful color absolutely gorgeous looking phone so i just want to try out the wallet case to see how it looks very nice fit actually and you can see the camera bump and the cutouts quickly try the clear one because the clear one will still show you that beautiful color on the back Silicon case, look at that. Official OnePlus case. Oh, that fitted nicely, didn't it? So you don't get to see the beauty of the color, but the case does feel really nice. Quality case by OnePlus there. So I'm not gonna remove the, the tape from there. 
I just want to see how this one fits. Oh, that is nice. So you can see that color. You've got that nice bump up protection. That's a nice case too. If I had to pick my favorite from the bunch, which one would I use with my OnePlus? It would be one of these two. So big thanks to mobilefun.co.uk for sending over this lovely box of goodies for the OnePlus 9. So this is Coolify by Torres. This is a wearable air conditioner. That's right, people. Patented design, black technology cooling, hanging neck design. Let's figure out. There we go. Look at that. Futuristic packaging or what? Oh my God, that is nice. Now let me take this out. Wow, that's insane. That looks so cool. Black and gold, wearable air conditioner. In the box, you get your instructions along with charging cable and that is gonna be USB-A to USB-C. That's pretty much it. So the product itself blows cool air from the vents. It's a bladeless design. So if you've got long hair, don't worry, you're not gonna get your hair tangled inside because it's a bladeless design. It's lightweight and you have adjustable speed. So if I turn on the power, Wow, this part feels really cold as well. And you've got this air coming out of all of these vents. What a nice design. You've got um, different speeds. So this is speed one. Oh, speed two. Oh my God. It's more powerful than the previous model. So three speeds. When you wear this around your neck, it promises to cool you down between 10 to 15 degrees cooler in just three seconds. That is me all set for the summer. Now it's portable, use it anywhere you like. You can use it in the car. You can use it once you go for a walk. You can even use it once you go for a jog because you're wearing it around your neck. You sort of secure it a little bit and that is not gonna fall off. Um, not only that, you can also take it to the office with you. You can use it in the office. The color also looks nice, black and gold. So if this was around your neck, it could look like a fancy pair of headphones. Um, it's not gonna look that bad. Battery life is 12 hours of non-stop fan action and it takes two hours to fully charge. It does support USB-C charging and the charger port is just there. So if you wanna prepare yourself for the summer, forget air, buying an air conditioner, forget buying a cooler, just grab a wearable air conditioner. That would cool you down and reduce your body temperature in seconds. Awesome stuff, people. Check out Coolify. So next up on the cool list, we have Jobby Wavo, the content creator's go-to lav mic. You get a few colorful wind guards and you also got standard black as well, just in case you don't want that extra color. It comes in this handy carrying pouch. It feels like PU leather. And here is the microphone itself. A standard 3.5 mil connection. You've, it's a clip on microphone. Just clip it straight on. It is an omnidirectional clip on lav mic. And this also comes with a TRRS to TRS adapter. So it's ready to use straight out of the box. Great for vloggers and content creators. Enhance that quality. Another great affordable but premium product by Jobby. So that is the Jobby Wavo, people. All right, next up, we have a cordless speed air pump. Now this is a product that we all could use in our car. It comes in this nice zip up car case, convenient storage, and here it is. Okay, so this is an air pump. It can be used for car tires, bikes, motorbikes, sports balls, and other inflatables. And it can deliver up to 150 PSI. To show you what it comes with, you've got your USB Type-C charging cable. So you have a universal nozzle and it comes with three extra attachments, meaning you can inflate more or less anything you like. Right, so power's on. You can see the LCD display. Here are your modes. So bike, motorbike, cars, and inflatables, so football inflatables. And if you set your own preset, it will automatically stop when it reaches the set pressure, meaning you don't have to stand around and get ready to press stop. It will automatically stop when it hits the preset. So how fast is this product? Well, it will take eight minutes to fully inflate a flat car tire. It will take one minute to fully inflate a basketball. 
But what about battery life? How long is this product going to last? Well, you have a 2,600 milliamp hour battery built in. So that means you can fully inflate six car tires or nine bike tires or 44 footballs. This pump also has auto pressure level detection. So as soon as you attach it to a wheel, before pressing anything, it will automatically show you the current pressure level. It will detect it and let you know. And then you can go ahead and start inflating. So I've got a under inflated football here. Definitely needs to be pumped up. We're going to try this out on this football. Okay, here we go. Wow. We're back in action, people. This football is now back in action. So definitely something that I will be keeping in my car. This is a very, very useful product. The price is more than right. And you get this handy carry case. So none of the parts are going to go missing. Zip it up and store that in the glove of your car. And when you need it, it's there for you. So cordless speed air pump, people. All right, the next product has an interesting name. It's called the Big Big One Elitist S, a multi-platform game controller for Nintendo Switch, Windows, and Android. Neatly presented, resembles an Xbox 360 controller, of course. So it works via USB for those quick connections, but you've also got built-in Bluetooth. So two ways of using, it's a two-in-one controller. You can use either method to connect. So when you're playing Android games with an Android phone or tablet, you're better off connecting uh, via Bluetooth. And it does feel very ergonomic. Uh, I love the design. I love how it feels in the hands. It's grippy. Um, all the buttons, everything feels proper nice. And you've also got two customizable buttons on the side. And you've got your usual four trigger buttons on the top. And a pairing button with your charger, with your micro USB charger port in the center. And at the bottom, you've got some charging lights. All right, and to connect to Bluetooth, all you're doing is keeping A and the pair button pressed at the same time. So here we go. About three seconds, you're keeping them pressed. One, two, three. Let go of it, and that is now in pairing mode. There it is, the elitist pairing. Yes, and we are paired. All right, so here we go. The game controller is working absolutely fine. Let's jump on the bike. I didn't have to configure any of the controls. They're just working. Awesome. Let's jump off the bike, sprint to one of the cars and jump in. So as you guys saw, the controller actually works really good. You can expect the same comfort you would get from an Xbox controller, very premium in design. I haven't heard of Big Big One brand, but I'm pleasantly surprised by the quality of this game controller, how easy it connects to Android and you can play Android games straight away. This would also work very well with Android TV box games as well. So definitely check out the Elitist S multi-platform game controller by Big Big One. All right. We haven't done one of these in quite a while. This is the Holy Stone HS720E 4K drone, people. So the drone is nicely packaged in this zip up hard case. And you've got a carry handle there as well, which is very convenient. Let's check it out. Okay, we've got some stuff in here. Paperwork, user manuals and stuff. Okay. And here it is, neatly arranged people, neatly arranged. Here is the drone. And let me tell you right now, this is not a beginner toy drone. This is the real deal people. This is like entering DJI territory. You can see that camera is on a gimbal. It's a 4K camera and it supports electronic image stabilization. All right, let me put the drone down to the side, show you the controller. The controller requires two AA batteries, got dual antennas on top. You've got a nice little digital display there showing you all your details. You've got dual joysticks, a lock button, 
a one key return button, a lift off button. On the top, you've got your high low camera and you've got some toggle dials on the top as well. Now from here, you can extend this part and you can actually place your smartphone on top. A charger with two ports. So you're gonna be able to charge two batteries at the same time. And there's a USB-C connection there and you've got some LED indicators as well. Here's your USB Type-C cable. In here, you have spare propellers. Should you lose any of the originals, you've got some spares there. Now this one, now this package is important, it's the battery. So you've got two of these batteries. They are 2,800 milliamp hours each, and they will give you around 23 minutes of fly time per battery. So that's a total fly time of 46 minutes. And you can see here's the other one. It's already attached. So it is a foldable drone. Let's just unfold it. And the power button is on top. So yeah, the drone is made from a combination of plastic and metal. It's a powerful drone with brushless motor. So you've got built in 4K Sony cameras. Now other features to mention, this drone supports auto return home, advanced flight controls. You have GPS assisted flight, follow me, tap to fly and point of interest. So we are definitely going to have to take this for a spin to find out how it performs. So there you have it guys, that concludes episode 56 of the Coolest Tech of the Month, May 2021. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. Now do let me know in the comments which products were your favourites from the bunch. I've been really selective for this episode. I tried to show you guys more innovative products, um, products that stood out to me personally and some of these products I'm going to be using on an everyday basis. So lots of great, cool, unique tech products shared with you in this episode. Now all the links will be provided for you in the description box below so you can check them out for yourselves. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you all in the next one.